Smez, a.k.a. The Rookie Monster, coming at you live on tape. Tonight, we're taking another step towards trying to figure out how to unstick that brick of old baseball cards you got. We're going for the chilled version tonight. Not frozen, but chilled. Had my pack chilling in here for a couple of months now with the butter. And everything's better with butter and some kind of face cream. I was planning on going something warm with this edition, but my wife cleaned up my uh, baseball card area and I haven't been able to locate the box of 93 Upper Deck yet. Ooh, this feels buttery. <laughs> so let's get to the place. Let's get to my uh, tray and see if we can uh, get these things unstuck. Be right back. All right, we're back. So we got the 93 upper deck. And again, like I said, these have been chilled, not frozen. So we didn't we wanted to get them cold to separate, but not so cold they then freeze back together. So let's see if that's the trick. Had a marinating in with the butter and the wife's avocado face cream for a couple of months. From first glance, ooh, well that came apart easy. That did not. Chad Matola, Kim Batiste. All right, so as you can see, they're not perfectly apart yet. Need a little work. In fact, oh well, that came apart relatively easy. Troy Percival, Diamond Debut. So if that's a Troy Percival rookie card, that's nice. Oh, wait. We have paper loss. What a bummer. Maybe I should have just slathered these up in butter. That might have worked better. Mike Neal. I mean, I will say that when they come apart, they're coming apart with less noise so far. You know, you can hear them coming apart, but there's not this. There's my boy Dave Rigetti. Spaghetti Rigetti. You can hear them coming apart, but it's not as loud. It's not quite as pronounced. Maybe not quite as much paper loss. So maybe they, you know, you let them chill for a year who knows Harold Reynolds I think that's Darren Dalton All right, yeah as we get towards the middle though it may be something that you know we should Chill and get the top cards off and then re-chill so that then those top cards come off. Jeff Reardon. That's a nice looking card. What is that? Future checklist. Huh, that's a pretty cool card. Any paper loss? Not much. We'll say that this has been the best way so far, although clearly not an ideal way. It's still not exactly doing what it's supposed to do. Working better is not actually working. Greg Harris. Yeah, see towards the middle they're getting loud again. Norm Charlton. Again, you know, maybe one of those things where if we did it over time and just did like the edge cards. But again, there's not a ton of paper loss. Like it was some of those earlier decks or packs, we were getting massive paper loss. Whereas this, oh, that's just got more buttery fingertip. <laughs> Look at that. So no paper loss, but be careful of the buttery fingertips if you're going to store it in the butter. Butter section of your refrigerator. Anyways, I think it worked a little better. 
Am I going to say this is what you should do ideally? Probably not. But, uh, you know, it's an option, I guess I'd say. So, thanks for watching. We'll be back with another installment of this, you know, next week or two, maybe a month. I don't know. Who knows? First, I got to locate my cards. So, we'll get it done. Appreciate you watching. Have a great night. Did you get a lot, Daddy? No, no. Daddy's a loser. <laughs>